Hey guys, it's Kyle here, and I have a golf drill that you can do from the comfort of your home. Do you find yourself scrolling aimlessly, jamming Netflix series from the couch, hoping to find ways to be a little bit more active in these tough times? Well, I have a drill that's one, going to help you be more active, and two, help the sequencing in your golf swing. All right, everyone, you're going to need three things for this drill. You're going to need a slick floor, you're going to need a pillow, and you're going to need a nice pair of socks. The first step to this drill is we are going to identify how our body reacts to the momentum of an object in motion. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our golf posture, we are going to turn this pillow towards the target, and then we are going to turn the pillow away from the target, creating some momentum. The second step is going to be how are we shifting our pressure from our right to our left or our trail side to our lead side for a right-handed golfer. It would be the opposite for a left-handed golfer to our left to our right. As we shift the momentum of the object that we have out in front of us. So as we make these nice swings and react to the momentum of the object we have, we are going to start to create a stepping motion. At this portion, you could toss on a little bit of music to help identify your rhythm. Our last portion of this drill is how our feet are interacting with the ground. How are our feet pushing off the ground? Are they gripping? Are they sliding around? What are we looking for in relation to how our feet are interacting as we do that stepping motion? So, what we are looking for in addition to the step is as we go into the backswing, we are gripping with our trail foot or our right foot for a right-handed player and we are pushing up and away with our right hip or our right glute. As we go into the downswing, we are going to look to grip the ground as we press into our lead side or make that step forward. So we are gripping the surface with our lead foot and then we are going to be pushing up and away as we push back with our trail foot. When you add this with the stepping motion and the momentum of the object in front of you, you are going to be able to feel how we are using the ground up to create some rotation and create a nice sequence in your golf swing. In motion, that pattern would look something like this. Push up off the trail, push back into the lead, push back with the trail as you push up off your lead. All right, now that your body is reacting better to the momentum of the object that's in motion, you're using the ground better as you're shifting your pressure and you feel how the friction of your feet is being applied to the ground, I wanna add one more element to this drill. All you're going to do is as you move the momentum, shift the pressure and grip the ground, you're going to work towards the target or you are going to work away from the target. So for a right-handed player, you are going to take steps towards the left, and then you are going to take steps towards the right. Once you become comfortable with moving in a lateral direction, left and right, then you can start moving around in different patterns where you can step towards the camera, where you can step away from the camera. This is time to have a little more fun, maybe toss a song on, and get a little bit more creative on how you're moving amongst your feet in relation to the object that you're moving in momentum. I really hope you find this useful in creating a better sequencing in your golf swing. If you're looking to step it up a notch, I would recommend using a medicine ball as such. This will help you feel a little bit more on how your body is reacting to that momentum, how you're applying force into that ground as far as shifting your pressure and gripping and pushing off of the ground. Once you have sequenced these three moves together and you feel comfortable doing this in your household, I would recommend doing it three to four times a day for five minute periods each or for a duration of a song. In addition to that, after every rep that you do or five minute segment, I would jot down some notes on what you're feeling and you could possibly even film this and take a look to make sure that you're using the ground in an efficient manner and your body's reacting to the mass of the object you're swinging in a good pattern. Once you become comfortable with that, 
I'd recommend taking it outside with any sort of club or bat and trying to recreate the same sequencing. This will help you take it to the golf course a little bit easier.